Oh, you know, maybe we should take a look at the multi-tool as well. Uh, there's been updates to how that works, too. There's new... There's the Blaze Javelin Mining Beam Bolt Caster now. Wasn't there another one? And then grenades, but... Oh, this one, Pulse Spitter, that I haven't even built. And I haven't really looked at these. Let's jump down to a planet and take a look at some of this junk. Shall we? We're gonna go check out these new weapons, because I haven't really played with them, even though I've built them. Is there one more base unit that I can build? I don't think so. No, that's all the base units. No, this one, Scatter Blaster. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five types on the multi-tool now as well. Tell it's a base unit, because it has the white bar for the ammo status. That's how you can tell a base unit. Okay, let's land somewhere and shoot something. We've got mining beam. Good old traditional mining beam. It's still there. That's for mining things. It's great. Uh, you can mine from a distance. This is how you gather resources in the game, of course. That's what the mining beam is for. First, we've got our mining beam. Directed mi laser mining tool charged by isotope elements such as carbon exposes and captures elements within planetary rock formations and vegetation. User operation can result in sentinel scrutiny. It's got damage and mining power. Damage and mining power. And then we've got the bolt caster, also from before the updates, traditional firing for, uh, you know, attacking in battles and stuff, I assume. And we've got the bolt caster. Combat focused weapon user is advised that isotope elements such as carbon are required to recharge device. Use can result in targeted entity death. It's also got damage and mining power. Now that's 2.0 mining power. This is 5.5. So that's the kind of scale it's on. Good to know. Now we have a blaze javelin. Oh. Wow. Big heavy pulse. But it's real slow. Doesn't seem the best for mining. I wonder, we'll look in the description to see what it's really for. Then we've got Blaze Javelin. The Blaze Javelin delivers instantaneous damage on targets. Plasma charge process creates an isolated gas arc to propel projectiles at great speed. User will perceive destructive results simultaneous to the pull of the trigger. So it's an instant fire weapon. Access fire mode by pressing triangle. Activate weapon with R2. It's got damage and mining power also. But its mining power is 13.8. Now that's way more than my mining beam. So it is good for mining. Okay. Great. And then we've got the scatter blaster. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. It's like that ship weapon that's uh, in a scatter formation. It's like the shotgun. Boom. Probably for close range. Yeah. Oh, small ammo clip on that one. It's not very well upgraded in my multi-tool either. But okay. Scatter blaster. Oof. Okay. Uh, then we've got the scatter blaster. Scatter blaster shots are granted a wide cone of destruction with reduced range and accuracy. Combat with targets in close proximity is encouraged. It's got damage. It's got mining power. Damage. Okay. And then we have the pulse spitter. Oh, look at you. Okay. And then the pulse spitter. The pulse spitter releases short, rapid sequences of fire. User is advised to discharge full bursts on target if total lifeform destruction is desired. Wow, full burst on target. It's got damage and mining power. Pulse spitter. Look at that. Can I get a photo of those pulses? <laughs> nice. So there's the pulse spitter ammo. That's cool. Just traveling along. 4.6 on the damage. This one's damage is 32.8. That's up there compared to the 4.6 on this. What's the bolt caster? 13.3. So what's the damage here? 5.8. So Blaze Javelin is another one for mining, is what it would seem. And some of these, from what I understand, it replaced other things that were in the... Like the Scatter Blaster replaced that uh, short burst, no, I don't know. There was the short burst adapter before, that's gone. One of these replaced that, I forget which it is. Anyway, that's a look at the, uh, the multi-tool weapons. So hopefully that's helpful to you. That's some of the new stuff in the updates. And again, you can get those weapon uh, blueprints from Viking Space Station Traders. Viking Space Station Traders.